but uh, this is a joyful occasion. Uh, we do want to keep this uh, central in the sense of the sacredness of this moment. And by the way, sacredness does not mean that there is not joy or celebration, both of the heart as well as the voice. But the meaning of this is a beautiful occasion for your presence for the day in worship. And we really wanted the worship experience to be the centrality of what we are about. And we even here, we are sacredly bowing down. Someone told me, and I mentioned to someone else a moment ago, that they said, uh, you know, I'm going to come over here now and meditate about life. And for a moment I thought, and, and my mind immediately turned to what? It, there must be a certain body of posture or something that goes with that. But this is a wonderful place to meditate on the care of your body in appreciation for God making you the way you are with muscles and eyes and knees and feet and keeping them in shape and taking care of them as God would have us to. So this is a marvelous opportunity for us to share and we welcome you today. Also, I would say a word of welcome as I did at the end of worship for those who may be from our city, our county, our school board, commissioners, etc. I do see, I thought I saw our, our mayor come in. We're, right over here. We're, yes, we're glad to have you present today and to share because the meaning of this building does symbolize First Baptist Church. It symbolizes the integrity of who we are, the compassion of heart that we want to give, and it gives visibility to our community and lets them know something is going on here that means something about life. And what we do want to do is have people to come and share in this arena that you cannot get just anywhere. Yes, there's gyms and other places, but there's something about the character of this place, the integrity and purpose of our mission, and the compassion of heart toward individuality, and the appreciation of personhood that you can find hope only in the Christian community. So we share together in the joy of this and in the welcoming and in the purpose and in the recognitions of what we're giving today. We also have Lewis Pierce, who is our director of missions with us today. And um, we're glad that he and his wife are with us as well. I'm gonna give recognition to three people First, Dr. Jim Ray, our Capital Funds Director. I'm not going to give you a, a report of the Finance Committee today, but I have a, a couple of things I do want to say. First, in keeping with our uh, motto of faith, family, and future, I want us to think about the fact that we have faith in God uh, to guide us in our mission to this community. Save the family is to enjoy our present facility, as the preacher said this morning, enjoy freedom. Uh, the third thing is, let's uh, keep in mind and keep in our hearts the lives prayers that God will use this facility in our church and outreach to Emmanuel County. Now, I want to thank some people today, too. Um, first of all, Dr. Blankenship, uh, the staff, Gilbert and Paul, and uh, the two other people that I don't think are here today that have a, had a huge impact on our community's work, and that is Joni Flanders and uh, Quinn Farmer. So if y'all see them, I want you to thank them, okay? They're not here today, I don't, don't see them. But anyway, uh, they have done a tremendous job in helping us uh, do a lot of things. Secondly, I want to thank the deacons and leaders over the past 12 or 13 years. Um, I'm not gonna name them all, but one is Bobby Sasser. I, I presume Bobby's here. But I want to give thanks to Bobby for appointing me to this committee, the chairmanship. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, I mean, if you see Bobby, he's done a, he, he was, had a big part of this. And all the other deacons and all the other uh, uh, people that have uh, um, led up to this point. As you all know, it, it's taken about 13 years this project. So we've been on it about four years now. It took about nine years to get ready to get rolling. But I'm really glad this day has, has reached us. Also, all the other committees that have diligently worked uh, to uh, get the, uh, to meet the, to, to do what we wanted done in this building. I also, now I want to thank the uh,
Capital Funds Committee, and I want them to, um, uh, they got to raise their hand and step out where they can be seen. And that's uh, uh, David Morgan. Uh, stand up, David. If you don't stand up. Uh, Carol Yeomans. Where's Carol? Carol. Uh, Connie Hughes. Uh, Phil Torrance. Asa Garrett. And uh, Nick Harrington. So I really appreciate them. I'll tell you, and I want to thank Bobby for appointing me to this committee chairmanship because these folks have been so wonderful to work with. You never ask them to do anything, you don't do it immediately. They always kind of push me along. I thank y'all very much for your work in, in, in funding this project. Uh, but most of all, what I want to do today is thank those of you who have given, uh, some of you very, uh, I know, everybody generously, but the facts that we've had widespread support. We've had so many people giving money to the uh, to the production of this building. It's taken a lot of effort. Some have given uh, very generously and some have given uh, may not be as much but just as generously. So we really appreciate that. And I think we have to thank ourselves and appreciate what we've all done in this uh, endeavor from a financial point of view. Uh, how many of you heard that it's uh, bad times? Uh, you know, it's just bad times, bad times, bad times, but we did it. Uh, we got this building uh, uh, raised, and we've done a tremendous job of raising the, the, the money for it. And I, I'm going to give you a brief uh, um, idea of how much money we owe it. So, uh, don't, uh, we don't have, I'm not taking any questions about this, but we owe about $130,000, $140,000, somewhere in that range that we have to pay Citizens Bank. Um, that's on a uh, short-term note up to three years. And we have another $300,000 note that's based on a uh, CD that, we, that we've already had for the church. And that's at a 2% interest rate. So uh, let's, so uh, if you all have any money to give, give generously, please, to decrease that debt at Citizens Bank. And we do appreciate the banks, too. But uh, thank you all for your support. Each of you individually and collect collectively have done a tremendous job supporting this effort. Bill Sasser, our chairman of our building committee, could not be here today. He's with Andrew and Mayo Clinic and we'll certainly be remembering them. Uh, Mr. Sconyers is coming to represent our building committee. Thank you, Bob. What a glorious day this is. Well, Bob did tell you, he told me about an hour ago I had to do this. Uh, on behalf of the building committee, I want to thank the church for allowing us to, to serve in, on this committee and, and this mission. Uh, we, we worked on it a long time, and we had a, uh, a lot of suggestions from the, and from the church, and we appreciate that. I want to attempt to call everybody that's on our committee Paula, raise your hand. Marty Ray, I saw him here a minute ago. He's over here. Uh, Barry Brown. Don Wilkes is not with us, and Bill is not with us. And the Tammy. Tammy, you represent Don, wherever you are. And the, uh, the biggest member of this committee was the Lord, because we called on him a lot of times, and he always came through and told us what to do. But, uh, we, uh, we appreciate all the help that everybody gave and, and made this building more powerful and forever. The man with ideas, imagery, vision, and drawing board application, Craig Buckingham. Thank you. And, and I've already learned that a Methodist can't trust Baptists. I said I would come here on the condition I didn't have to speak today. Here I am. So, uh, thank y'all for allowing us the opportunity to, to design this project. It was a pleasure, uh, and, and there was uh, some uh, very difficult times in going through, uh, as we know, through several bidding uh, practices. But that old saying takes a village to to, uh, to build to uh, teach a child. It took truly a building committee, and this is as good, if not the best building committee I've ever had to work with in my 30 years. And I certainly appreciate this. Thank y'all for letting us do it. Uh, my staff, we and shared our interior designers, 
Uh, we're, we're hometown architect. We're very proud of this, and we thank y'all for letting us have the opportunity to provide the architectural service. I have to say, uh, Pope Construction was the general contractor. Is Tom here? Tom Purvis? Tom, give that man a hand, please. the wall 18 times counterclockwise or anti-clockwise. That'll be about a mile. So I hope that you'll come and walk, that you'll share together, and as one person said earlier, that you'll come and meditate on life in this wonderful place. Thank you for coming today and sharing in the meaning of this wonderful event, and also for sharing in the worship of the Heavenly Father. The worship of the Heavenly Father always continues in our lives when we leave a place. Because we will do as Paul said, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto Him. And so we do. Taking your sheet of paper, we have a litany of dedication, and we will read that as guided by the leader, and he is for the people of, the, of God. <clears throat> Praise the Lord. Praise the name of our God in Christ Jesus. We thank God for the beauty of this structure and blending design, for all the light shining through its windows, for all the faces of life that will grow and become like the Master, the light of the world. Your people have served you in honor, preferring one another, and in being laborers together with God. As a family of God, the Father has provided us with the ability and the desire to express our faith in each other, in God, and into others for a future and a hope. Thank God for the holy moments of surrender, sacrifice, and In prayer, O oh God, may our building stand as beacons of hope to our town community, and county as a refuge of nurture of the soul, doors of acceptance, and exercises of compassion. If you will, join hands. Let this be a connecting link concerning the meaning of who we are, touching the lives of each other, and welcoming others to join hands with us in the camaraderie of faith, of hope, and of love. Truly, the sign out front shall be a sign within our hearts and minds a long time. This is a matter of faith. This has to do with the family of God. This has to do with the future of hope. Eternal Father, we thank you for the magnanimity of your grace, the surrounding beauty of your presence, and for the understanding of mind and heart that First Baptist Church has given unto itself in the sense of devotion to be servants. We truly want to be a servant of Christ Jesus our Lord in serving mankind. May the footprints of children the glad, joyful laughter of youth. The joys of what it is to sit and talk, drink a cup of coffee, exercise, and be something even like making a quilt, or studying the Bible, be fulfilled in the meaning of who we are as people. May our arms be opened wide. May the embrace encourage and include others who come to the door and desire to walk in. We thank you again for all that has been and for all that is 
and for all that ever will be, because you have promised, I will be with you. And together, all of God's people say, Amen. Amen.